Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Brooklyn. So today I'm doing my second part to my Pinterest nail from home recreation series, I guess you could call it. Um, I figured I'd start doing a video each time I do my nails since I do them like once a month and you guys loved the last video. Um, I got an overwhelming amount of support on that video so thank you so much for watching that and if you haven't already I would suggest that you watch it um, before you watch this one so that you can see like my method behind it and how I got into it and just a little bit more in-depth info on the products themselves. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoy and let's just get into the video. So the first thing that I do is just sand off all of the excess glue from the past nails and make a smooth surface for the new glue and new nails to adhere to. With the next type of bit, which is the barrel, I'm gonna be using that to smooth out my cuticle area and to shave off the dead cuticle part so that it looks a lot cleaner and prettier like they do at the salon. But I don't have cuticle cutters and this actually works a lot better and makes it look really clean and doesn't hurt at all. I'm just gonna be taking out my nail forms, sizing them all to my nails and laying them out to glue them on. Another key piece is using a nail prep, which is the primer and the dehydrator which totally makes a difference because you have a lot of oils in your nails and it really helps for the glue to adhere and this is really what makes such a lasting nail set it makes a total difference um, same thing with drilling I know it may seem tedious especially when it takes a long time but it's totally worth it if you want that long-lasting salon look now here is my lovely nail file. I'm really not sure why we have this um, or where it came from because nobody in my house is a housewife or a desperate housewife. So yeah, but I'm just going to be using this file to shape my nails and make them not so pointy because I don't really like the shape themselves. I like the almond but not like so pointy where they like scratch you. Um, and they're also pretty long for me, so I just shorten them a bit. If you want to see how I get that shape still, is I shorten them by going straight across and making it into a coffin shape, and then like around and really like curving it so that it makes the shape of an almond. So the next step before painting them is filing off the shiny coat that's on top of the plastic nail forms. Um, this will make all the difference in your gel sticking. If it stays like shiny, it doesn't really have anything to grip onto. And then you wanna obviously brush off all the dust or else it'll get stuck in your gel and then it'll be like bumpy and you really don't want that. Now before I put on my gel colors, I'm gonna be using the Sensation Nail Gel Primer. Okay, now that I'm getting into painting, I have to put on the gel base and top coat because this is the base to the color that lets everything come together. And I'm just gonna be curing this for 30 seconds. Now for the base of all my nails, before I do the French tip and the squiggly detail lines, I'm gonna be using the Macchiato color, which is like very much like a normal nail base color that you would get at the salon when putting on your base um, acrylic powder, which is like that pinky color. And um, I actually really love this color. You can use it in a lot of different ways. I would definitely recommend getting this. I just got these. They are the coolest things ever. I would seriously recommend getting this. I'm just gonna be using the thin one today to be drawing the squiggly lines and to do the French tip. So for my actual French tip, nail I'm going to be doing the darkest brown color so you can see here how I'm doing it I'm just drawing you can see where your nail starts um, I cut mine down all the way before putting on my nails so my natural line where my nail starts I'm just gonna follow that and make a curved shape and I'm just gonna repeat that on all of the nails that are seen in the picture
starting on my actual nail art nails and I'm just going to be using that thin brush and drawing squiggly lines in a pattern where I follow one after the other and I found it easiest to clean up some of it with the flathead brush with the acetone. You can cure it in between each line or you can cure it after one individual nail. Um, it's really depends on what you want to do and how good you are and not making them bleed into each other. Um, I sometimes would cure in between each individual line if I felt like it was going to mess up and just to be safe just to cure it so it wouldn't. But sometimes I would just do all the lines at the same time and cure it that individual nail right after and put on the top coat and everything. I'm just going to keep repeating these steps all through on both hands.